to the Learning the Elements Through Illustrator video series. Each of these pages we'll create with this project will correspond with a different element of design. If you're interested in detailed plans, worksheets, and project outlines for this unit, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn how. In this video, I'll be covering using rulers and guides, and at the end of the video, I'll give you specific instructions on what you need to have completed before you move on to the next one. The first thing we're gonna do today is turn on your rulers. You can go to View Rulers and Show Rulers, or you can use this shortcut, Command R. Most of the things inside of your menu bar will have shortcuts, some of them don't, but many of them do. So in the future, I will just be using command shortcuts for many things, but I will tell you what the shortcut will be. The first thing you may notice is that these numbers look very strange. That's because if you right click on them, you'll see that they are points, which is a measurement that's used in digital programs. You probably understand inches, so go ahead and switch to inches, and then you'll see that we have an eight and a half by 11 page paper. If you zoom in on your page, notice that the rulers will become more and more detailed. So now we have the half inch showing, and if I zoom in more, you'll see the fourth inch and eighth, so on and so forth. And if you don't know how to zoom, you can just use two fingers to pinch if you're on a laptop. You can use the zoom tool here by clicking and dragging to the right to zoom in and drag to the left to zoom out. And you can also hold down option and use two fingers, scroll up to zoom out and scroll down to zoom in. And you may find it necessary to move to a different part of the page. You could always do that by using these bars on the top and the bottom, but I find it more helpful to use two fingers to drag around on your page, just place your fingers on and move them around. That's on a laptop. Or if you are on a desktop, you can hold the space bar and you'll get this handy hand tool and you can move your page around with the hand tool. The hand tool is here, so you can actually click it and do that. One helpful thing to know is that you can double click the hand tool and see the whole page. But back to your selection tool, go ahead and zoom back in so that you can see the half inch marks. What we want to do now is create guides. We're going to make some margins for ourselves on our document. So click and drag. We wanna have one inch at the top. So I just clicked on the ruler and I'm dragging down. And when I see that one, I'm going to let go. And I've got a guide. Going to do half inches across the sides. So there's my half inch and I let go. And I'm going to move my page to the other side and click and drag on the ruler until I get to the eight and that will be one half inch from this side of the paper. Then lastly, we'll need to go to the bottom of our page, and we have 11, so I wanna to go to 10 and a half, so I'll click and drag on the top ruler to that one half inch mark. And again, the reason why I'm doing this is so that I can keep all my work inside of this half inch mark. That way, if I wanna print my work, none of it will get cut off. For this project, we're gonna be doing six artboards because we have six elements to talk about. So select the artboard tool and up in your option bar, you'll see a new artboard option. Go ahead and click it five times. And if you zoom out, you should see six artboards. There it says six, five, four, three, two, one. Select that black arrow again so that you can move around on your page. One thing to note is that when you click on an artboard, the rulers will automatically orient themselves to the zero mark on the top left corner of the page. You will now need to add your 
vertical guides to each one because as you scroll up across, you'll see that your horizontal lines go all the way across the whole window. So all we have to do is add your vertical lines. Move your page to the corner of the desired artboard and add your guides to each one. If you mess up, you can click on the artboard. And if it's locked, you can right click in the gray area and unlock your guides. Click on your guide and delete. And you'll need to move them around if needed. But if you line up your page so that the artboard you're working on is in view, then you should have your rulers lined up correctly. Just make sure that you click on the desired artboard and you should have your zeros in the right place. As I work, I'm going to speed up the video so that you don't have to watch me do all the work. But you can pause the video at any time to see what I'm doing. And that finishes up all the guides. You should have guides on all sides of all of your pages. So to recap what we did here, we turned on the rulers, we changed it to inches, we added five artboards with a total of six, and you should have guides all around each side of the page. If you like this video and you'd like to have more resources like it, you can go to Digital Art Teacher to learn more. See you in the next video.